Okay, welcome back. I'm gonna go over the next part of the tutorial here, part three. Uh, so how do we set up spawns? So you wanna go to the intruder MM, you wanna go to prefabs, you want to go to spawn A, and then insert that. And what you wanna do is you wanna go to the inspector and pick one of these, so that way you have an indicator of where the spawn is. And next you want your spawn B. Also be sure to uh, give it an indicator so you know where it is. Uh, you can move these around if you click the navigation on the top left. We can have a goal point. Let's put the goal point over here. And let's put the briefcase right here. Just so we don't have the briefcase floating around, let's try to give it a platform or something. So let's go back into our CSG model. Uh, let's create a new shape. Let's make sure this shape is fits into this building comfortably. Make sure it's a nice table. And then let's rebuild. Here's our table. It's right into the wall, this building. Then we have our A spawn, we have our B spawn, and we have the package capture point. And uh, this map isn't quite complete because if you fall, you'll fall forever. So we need to add a death zone. And the way to do that, I usually do it is I create a 3D object. Uh, I usually just use these for game functions, like a death zone because these are easily like resizable. And then I scale it using the scale tool on the top left. I scale it fairly large. Make sure it covers this larger area. Uh, make sure that it gets as far as people can jump. the round won't end unless either one team is entirely dead or uh, someone has captured a package at a capture point. And so once this is set up, what I usually do is I provide it a tag. So you go into scripts, you go to object tagger, and then you put that on the item. You click and drag it onto the item in the port in the viewport or in the inspector tab and the object tag you want to do uh, in the top is step zone um, you want to disable uh, mesh renderer you might want to put trigger and this, I think this should be enough um, Let's, we're gonna test it out, so let's go. Okay, when we're gonna export our level, we wanna make sure that we have the intruder. We wanna make sure of two things. We wanna first save our scene. So I'm gonna save it as this tutorial. And then I want to save the project as well. Then I'm gonna go to select our intruder application. Uh, and then locate the intruder.exe in your Steam files. So we've opened it up. Um, then we can go placing an intruder. It should compile our level. Uh, the lighting might be a bit odd in our level, but we can fix that as we get into the lighting portion, which is going to be later on. Uh, so I'll join the intruders. Intruder spawn in the building. This building, this building is locked. I'm going to open it.
we've got a level here. Um, and then if we jump off, we'll hit the death zone. And then we can play as the guards. We can capture the point if we were intruders and had the briefcase and locked into the checkpoint or capture point, we win the round. So we've got the basic level laid out. Uh, next we'll work on the lighting and that'll be in the next episode. See you then.